Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. I am Dr. Mohan Atanadi. Now we are the discussing topic interpretation of canonical correspondent analysis. So the what is the canonical correspondent analysis and canonical correspondent analysis how to be applied in biological science that related post published in our blacker page that link mentioned to the link the that link mentioned to the this video description box and uh, how to perform the canonical correspondent analysis in R that video already published in our channel that video link also mentioned to the this video description box if you not watch that video please visit that video then continue part of the interpretation of canonical correspondent analysis so the canonical correspondent analysis a results provide insight into the relationship between the species abutants and innumerable variables. The analysis partitions the total variations into the constrained and unconstrained compounds, which the constrained inserts are representing the proportions of variations explained by the innumerable variables. Variations partitioning total inertia 0.3591 representing the total variations in the species data constraint inertia 0 0.3160 accounting for 87.99 percentage of total variations explained by the environmental variables the indicates that the environmental factors used in the model are highly influential in saving species distributions Unconstrained inertia 0.0431 accounting for 12.01 percentage of variations which represent the residual variations not explained by the environmental factors. The table present for the canonical correspondent analysis. The first one for the compound, the total four compound present CCA1, CCA2, CCA3 and CA1. So the next for the eigenvalues and the preparation of explained and cumulative preparations. So the eigenvalues, the eigenvalues reflect the importance of each canonical axis CCA in explain the variations. The CCA1 0 0.1685 explain 46.94 percentage of constrained variations and is the most important axis. CCA2 0 0.1010 explain 28.12 percentage together with CCA1 accounting for 75.05 percentage of total constrained variations. CCA3 0 0.0465 explain 12.94 percentage of variations bringing the cumulative preparation to 87.99 percentage. So the last one for CA1 represent residual variation unconstrained compound explaining 12.01 percentage of total variations. So the canonical correspondent analysis plot, the canonical correspondent analysis plot provide a graphical representation of relationship between the species and variables and sampling sites. The axis represent the two canonical dimensions CCA1 and CCA2 which explain the majority of variation in species distributions based on the environmental gradients. So the figure present in the canonical correspondent analysis. So this is for the plot of the CCA. So the environmental variable first for the discussions. A dissolved oxygen. The dissolved oxygen is aligned along the positive side of CCA1 indicating a, a strong positive associate with the sites like phi. And the species such as species 10 and the species 4. The pH and the temperature are most more aligned with the positive side of CCA2 suggesting their influence on species like species 1 and species 9 and site 2. 
So the next one for the species and site. The species 8 is strongly associated with the site 2 and they influenced by the higher temperature level. The species 10 and species 4 are closely associated with the site 5 which has highly dissolved oxygen level. The other species are clustered clo uh, closer to the origin indicating less clear differentiation in response to the, to the environmental variables. The next one part for the conclusion of the quantical correspond analysis. The quantical correspond analysis CCA revealed the environmental factors particularly dissolved oxygen, pH and temperature are key drives influence the species distributions across the steady sites. The species like species 10 and species 4 were strongly associated with the dissolved oxygen expressly at site 5, while the temperature and pH significantly influenced the distribution of species 1 and species 9 at site 2. The variations in species environment relationship illustrates the unique ecological needs occupied by species in response to the environmental gradients. The CCA plot further highlighting the clustering of several species near the center suggesting that many species are influenced by the multiple environmental variables rather than a single dominant factor. The plot and result combined show that dissolved oxygen and temperature are the most influential variable in saving species combined across the sites, emphasizing their importance in the ecological structure of the community. Those findings provide a deeper understanding of species environmental interactions which can guide further ecological management and conservation effect in the system. So this is for the part of the interpretation canonical correspondent analysis. If you have any doubt on this interpretation section, leave me the comments in the comment box. I will help you. And uh, if you want to further detail, please visit to the, our blocker page. That link mentioned to the this video description box. Uh, I think the useful uh, post published for the, the blocker page. Please visit to our blocker page and support to our blocker page. Thank you for watching this video.